Y'all ain't doing shit. Get in here, get in here, get in here. It's hot as a motherfucker out here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I was scrolling on Instagram. You know what occurred to me? I want me a nigga that look at me like Niecy Nash's wife look at her. Go look at her pictures. I think her wife's name is Jessica. She's a very handsome woman. Very handsome woman. That's the, I don't mean that. as a. am not throwing no shade. She's a very handsome woman. Nice jawline and everything like that. I said, shit, I got all hot and bothered just looking at her. I said, I may have to check myself. But that's what I want. How does a motherfucker out this bitch? Y'all ain't doing shit. Come on and talk to me right quick while I wait on this food to come. Oh, honey. Oh, baby. Oh. It's hot. It's too hot for makeup. Baby, it's damn near too hot for dick. Okay? Ooh. Y'all do something. Somebody say, what you drinking, baby? I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't do no weeds, no tweeds. I barely take Tylenol. I got to eat. Um, I got me some um, chicken wings and salad. Thank you, Melissa. She said I'm pretty. And I think she's right. No, I got me some of that. It's been a long day. A long day. So I got me some of that. Somebody, Tasha said, it ain't never too hot for no dick. You right, baby. Honey, put my face, put my face in the freezer. And fuck me. Okay? I, I got a fan and air conditioner, JC, big love. But that's inside. I'm out here. Ooh. Dan's eating a, um enchilada. Hey, Regina. Best friend. Someone said I need a chef, baby. I do, but I'm not letting nobody in my house to cook for me. Not with Corona Rona going on out here. What I do today, I had to do some things. I had to run some errands. I had to get my life in order. Um, that's what I did. Max inside. I love you too, baby. Who? Okay, let's see here. Oh, Lord. Oh, I clicked your thing. Can you join my live later, baby? Later. It says I can't add you. I just look for you. It says I can't add you. It says unable to add you. Let me see here. You literally coached me through every relationship problem. I love you for it. Thank you, Uncle MJ. You welcome, niece. You know all y'all my nieces and my nephews. All y'all are. And for the old girls, y'all my best friends. Okay. You can't be no 65 talking about you, my niece. No, you my best friend, baby. The young girls, that's my nieces. Okay? The older girls, honey, we peers. I ain't 65, but you know the older ones, we peers, honey. Okay? Let me see here. What's the degrees here? Hot as fuck. Mm-hmm. That's what that is. Hot as fuck. How do I find motivation to lose weight? I take off all my motherfucking clothes and look in the mirror. And I ask myself, would I fuck me? If the answer is no, then a bitch is going to work on losing some weight. I look in the mirror and I say, do I turn my cell phone when I look in the mirror? If I don't turn my cell phone, if my dick don't get hard looking at me, then why would the niggas? Okay? That's what I'm saying. All right? You ask yourself, would I feel comfortable walking around butt ass naked in front of a nigga I want to fuck? Now see, I was always a bold bitch. Whether I had a belly or not, I had, knew I had good coochie. So I didn't have to worry about that. When you got good pussy, you ain't got to worry about that. Some of you bitches trying to lose weight. I'm like, bitch, you got good pussy. He don't give a fuck. Your titties and belly can be flopping all over the place. He don't give a fuck. All right? But y'all be worried about your waistline. You need to be worried about your kegel exercises, honey. Be having a tight waist and some loose pussy. All right, that don't make no sense. A nigga want to on some tight pussy. You see what I'm saying? He wants some good grip on it. You worried about being snatched, bitch. Snatch that pussy together. Okay? Some of y'all need to take some Epsom salt baths and doing some kegels and shit. Okay? Worry about that pussy, not, all the, not the waistline. Okay? Um, let me see here. How do I build my self-esteem? How do you build yours? Um, affirmations daily are a big helper. 
They are a big helper. Big helper. Regina, am I lying? Am I lying? Re- y'all laughing at me. I'm serious as a motherfucker. Shit. Let me tell you this much. If you got good pussy, you be a big bitch. Let me tell you how you get a good nigga and keep him. Have some good pussy. Cook good. If some of you bitches say, I don't know how to cook. Well, bitch, learn. Go to one of your good girlfriends. All you need to know how to make about five good dishes, honey. All right? No, we trying to cook every night. You cook once a week and you rotate that shit. Every five weeks, he's getting the same motherfucking new dish. He don't know that shit. He can't tell the difference. And you add a new dish every month or so. Before you know it, you're a cooking bitch. So you got to have some good pussy. Do, know how to cook real good. Learn how to cook good. They got a recipe called, they got a, a website called All Recipes. Bitch, if you can read, you can cook. Okay? And then on top of that, uh, what else you got? And treat them good. Treat them like a cook. Treat them like a king. I'm sorry. Treat them like a king. Okay? That's all you need. Okay? You do that, you keep a nigga. All right? And I venture to say, if you just have two of the three, you'll be all right. But if you have three of the three, bitch, you ne- he ain't going to never go nowhere. All right? That's what I'm saying. That's how we learn to do it. Honey. All right. Let me see. Hey, Raina, baby. That's my boo. She on my team, too. Um, how long should I wait to hook up with the guy that I really like? Well, bitch, I've given a nigga some pussy the, the, um, the first night and kept him for four years. And I've waited. And the nigga passed me over. So I don't know that there's a correlation between waiting and liking. I think that when you both feel ready. All right, and when you know that you need to be at a certain level of a bomb with him, where you know if I give him some pussy, he ain't running nowhere. Okay, I told you bitches this on my last, my other video, how to make a man chase shit. All right, you ration that shit out, and when you give him some pussy the first time, make sure you throw that shit on him real good. Don't be holding back trying to ration shit out, baby. Suck his dick, lick his balls, eat that ass up. That's why you gotta make him shower first. Okay, you don't know how to eat some ass? Go pull up a gay porn and see what they do on there. Okay, the gays will teach you. Okay, the gays will teach you. No shade to you women's and stuff like that, but I done seen the straight porn and I done seen the gay porn and the men know how to suck dick. And I know that for fact because I'm a nigga with a dick. Okay? I be watching these pornos with the straight women on there and sometimes they be just doing shit. Like, <laughs> throwing it all over your face. I'm like, bitch, he don't want his dick on your face. He want the shit touching that dangly thing in the back of your throat. And y'all <laughs> slobbing on it, all that other stuff. That's that dramatic shit, bitch. If you want to learn how to suck dick, watch some gay porn. And I, dare I say it, watch some, um, not the pretty kind, not the real pretty um, professional porn. Go to um, watch like the, um, I'm giving you some tips. Y'all think I'm joking, but I'm serious. Um, go watch like the homemade kind of shit. What the girls in Atlanta do. Okay, no shade to Atlanta, but those girls will teach you some things, okay? They need to open schools out there for you bitches, okay? Because I don't learn from them too. I'd be, I'd be in the academy right beside y'all. Okay, because these girls have taught me some things. Those are, you don't put nothing over on them, honey. These girls know some things. They experts. Okay? That's what I'm saying. All right? Someone said get some Listerine strips. What else can you use? Why would you use Listerine strips while sucking dick? Oh, no, baby. You don't want to put that on his dick, honey. That's not right. That's not right. He going to punch in the throat. No, baby. You don't need none of that. You don't need no whipped creams and no hot syrups and no honeys and all that other stuff. You just need a wet motherfucking mouth some good grip and leave your teeth out of it don't be doing all that mess y'all be trying to be cute <laughs> and you bit on bit his dick I'm wondering why you like nah anytime a nigga stop you from sucking his dick that means you ain't doing it the right way you be like whoa all right come on come on lifting your head up bitch you're not doing it right because when you sucking dick the right way he won't stop you let me tell you how i know i'm sucking dick right because this nigga because he about to bust he ain't got no pussy yet okay he's scared he gonna bust it Okay? That's what I'm saying. Who said that? They said, MJ, I was feeling down. Now you have me. You just have. You just gave me life. That's what I'm here for, baby. You don't put no list of ring strips on nobody's dick. Don't listen to that. If a bitch told you that, don't listen. Okay? Listen to a gay man, honey. Okay? If I know one thing, I know how to suck dick. I know how to suck dick. I've been an expert dick sucker since I was in high school. Ask my past boyfriends. How do you think I got the boyfriends? Okay? I knew what to do. If I met a guy who I liked back in the day, honey, just back when I was a young girl, I'd go down there, kiss him, and go down, and go to work on that dick. By the next day, he was my boyfriend, honey. I knew what to do. 
All right. Someone said, can I remove my dentures? Bitch, that sounds like an awesome idea. And remove those dentures and go to town. Go to town. Okay? Chow. That sounds heavenly, bitch. You go. Oh. Chow. Let me know how that worked out for you, okay? Because he probably ain't going to last about four seconds with that shit. Okay? That's what you do. Okay, I'm supposed to be waiting on my food, and y'all got me out here being nasty. Let me see here. I have a friend. I'm, I have a friend in a friends with benefits situation. He is a married man. She won't stop seeing him. What should I tell her? You should mind your fucking business, cause they working out just fine. No shade to you, baby. I, I love you to death, sugar. But mind your business, girl. Here's the thing, y'all need to understand this. When a bitch is sprung on some dick or a nigga is sprung on some pussy. Or a bitch is sprung on some pussy or a nigga is sprung on some dick. Regardless, when somebody is sprung on somebody, you can't tell them a motherfucking thing. If anything, you're going to drive a wedge between you and that friend. You need to be supportive of your friend. Not to say, oh, be with that married man. Just hear out and just let it be. That's her choice. And that way, when it inevitably falls apart, because we all know it is. Right? Then she'll come to you and you'll, and you'll still be there for her. Friendship is not about people doing everything you think they should do or them living like you. Friendship is, a, is about saying, I'm going to unconditionally support you through this life as long as your choices don't negatively impact me. That's what friendship's about. You, t- you think about my best friend. You know, he's my brother at this point. You know, I don't even say best friend, but I've known him since I was 15. Darren, y'all seen him with me on camera. Um, we done been with each other through everything. Good choices, bad choices on both of our sides. And one thing we know is we unconditionally will support each other through everything. You know, even if he made a choice, for that matter, if I made a choice that he wouldn't approve of, he, at the end of the day, he respects my choices and vice versa. Now, when the shit fall apart, we may say, no, girl, I did mean to tell you, I, you know that wasn't a good idea, right? Can you not do that shit again? So what you do is you mind your business and let that bitch get some dick. And how you know that the wife don't know? How you know? Y'all be thinking that these wives are blind, deaf, and dumb to the fact that they niggas is out here fucking somebody else. Child, it's some real clear signs that a nigga's fucking somebody else. First of all, he not giving you the dick no more. Let's start there. Because it ain't no nigga past the age of about 25 got enough in him to fuck her real good and come home and fuck you good. So somebody getting some weak ass dick. Okay? So if you the bitch getting some weak dick, then he giving the good dick somewhere else. Start there. Okay? Beyond there... Beyond that, um, beyond that, if um, he irritated. You ever notice if you ever cheat on somebody, and I'm not a cheater, that's not my thing. I cheated one time when I was 22 years old, told him the next day, never do that shit again. I don't never want to cheat nobody again. But you cheat on somebody, and before you know it, the person who you cheated on, who you cheating on, you know, your main boo, that you get irritated with them real easily. So you wonder, why my man so irritated with me all the time? Ain't we not fucking no more because he fucking somebody else? Okay? All right? Hey, Dale. You see what I'm saying with that? Um, that's how you know that they out here acting a fool. You know? Um, what's another sign that a nigga fucking somebody else? He not, he all, his patterns change. He's unavailable to you. My point is, the wife of the man that your friend is fucking may notice she, that he fucking somebody else. And she ain't saying shit because she could be getting some dick everywhere else. She probably look forward to him leaving to go fuck her so she can fuck the nigga she really want to be with. She done got married to him, had kids. She feels stuck with him. They glorified roommates. They sharing bills and shit. She like, when, can you please go fuck that bitch? Okay? Can you please go fuck that bitch? I have not enjoyed your dick for years. But I like you. I like being your friend. I just don't want to fuck you. Can you? And we just going to have a don't ask, don't tell policy. So you sit up here trying to tell her, girl, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. They got an arrangement. It could be very nice. All right? Now, see, for me personally, I told y'all, I'm a crazy bitch. Okay? I mean that in a good way. You know? I'm crazy about my man. Okay? And I, and I love him to death. I'm going to treat him good. And I don't go nowhere. I don't cheat. I don't do nothing like that. He can't cheat. Neither. Okay? So I'm not that bitch. All right? If he needs some acrobatics, Ron said, teach him. Um, if he needs some acrobatics... I'm doing some acrobatics, baby, okay? All right? This pussy here, well, I, what you need, daddy, okay? Because I need you to do what I need, okay, baby? I need some good bomb stroke, okay? So how about you commit to being your best self? I'm going to commit to being my best self, and we're going we're gonna to wear each other the fuck out. 
All right? That's another lesson I want to teach you girls. Okay? Don't you ever, never in a million motherfucking years let your man leave your house with a hot head or a hard dick. Listen to me when I tell you this. Okay? If he got a hot head meaning he mad, y'all argue. Mm-mm. 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 You don't go to bed mad. He don't leave the house mad. Y'all resolve that. A, hard, a hot head or a hard dick. Honey, there have been some times where before my man's about to leave out the house, I said, I didn't fuck him last night. He'd be right in the kitchen making his breakfast. Say, baby, come here. Turn him around. And I give him some of that quick head, honey. Some of that good quick head right there at the counter. Say, baby, I got to go. No, you don't. You got to go. Okay, sure. Unzip him while he's saying he got to go. Don't listen to him. I got to go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I need my man to be focused when he leaves the house. And he can't focus if he got a hot head, if he mad, or he got a hard dick. All right? That's how you take care of a man, honey. Okay? And don't be t- telling these men no when they want some pussy neither. Unless he done done something horrific. Please your man. All right? If you don't want to get give him no pussy, baby. Every bitch need a lazy, need a lazy fucking pose. You see what I'm saying? With the, the, a position that you let your man fuck you in when you don't feel like fucking. Okay? Because he wants some pussy and you don't feel like doing it. You ain't got to ride him that night. Bitch, you turn over on your side, cock that leg up and let him go to town, honey. Okay? You, you get into it. And when he and when you want some, that's the agreement. Baby, there'll never be a day I tell you. Now, that's what I tell a man when I start dating him. I said, baby, there'll never be a day that I will say no to you. Even if, even if, if I'm just like, mm-mm, ah, I'm going to get down on these knees. Okay? I'm trying to tell you some shit. Dale said, every woman on earth should be in this live. Let me put, pin this right here. He said it. He said it, y'all. I'm trying to tell you these things. Okay? Dale is the kind of man y'all want. Okay? He's attractive. He's smart. Takes care of his family. And he's telling you what they want. Y'all be trying to decode men like it's a fucking mystery. I'm telling you what they want. I'm doubly an expert because I'm a nigga and I fuck them too. Okay, baby? That's what I'm saying. And I'm going to tell you another thing too. I'm going to tell you another thing. Marco down there in the pool doing something. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He over there. Okay? I'm going to tell you another thing. Okay? Uh, when it comes to your man, um, do not. If you got an issue to bring up with him, all right? If you have an issue to bring up with him, you know, something, do not bring it up to him when he first wakes up in the morning. You don't want somebody putting shit up in your face first thing in the morning and when he first gets off of work. Okay, he's stressed and his reaction to you may not be good. Some of y'all say, I just bought this up and he went off on me. Well, bitch, how the fuck would you feel if he, if, you, if he came nagging you about some shit when he just got off the day's work? Nine hours at work, an hour in traffic, and he probably tired and hungry and shit, feet hurt. You feel the same way. Wait until he's relaxed. You feed him, you fuck him, then you talk to him. You put him in a pussy coma, then you talk to the nigga. That's how you get what you want. You mesmerize him. It's, you put him in a, in a coochie coma. That's what we're going to call it, a coochie coma. Okay? Put your man in a coochie coma. Then you get whatever you want. Honey, I done got all kinds of things. Businesses, honey. Money. It's all kinds of things, baby. Okay? City girls ain't got shit on me, honey. All right? Because I put some in a coochie coma. You see what I'm saying? It works every time. Sylvia said you are right. See, see let me tell you, the seasoned, mature women, they understand. Okay? You young girls sitting out here thinking y'all can just do what you want with these men. I'm telling you, men are easy. Easy, breezy, and so easy to get what you want out of them. Okay? They like a dog. And I don't mean that in any derogatory way. What I mean is that if you rub their belly the right way, make them feel good, feed them, all that good stuff, make them feel good, baby, do whatever they want. Half these niggas are are acting all um, difficult with you and not doing what you want. Because you don't approach him in the right way. A man will break his neck to give you what you want. Yes, I said coochie coma. Y'all like that, baby. I believe in that, honey. I feed him good. You you feed him real good and you grab his hand, pull him from the dining room table, baby. Come back here with me real fast. While his belly is full, you push him back on that bed. Dale said, rub his head. Rub his head. They like that, too. All right? And you push him back on that bed. All right? And you just go to town giving him head. Don't make him do too much work because he just ate, okay? And you suck the shit out of that dick. And then you say, and he say, oh, no, 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 baby. It's fine. I got you. It's a nice short night. I got you. You climb up on top of that dick. 
and you ride that motherfucker. What makes they spell your name on this dick? Okay, baby? Ride that shit. Ride that shit. Ride that shit. And then right when he busts, let it sit in there just for a second. I'm teaching you some shit. Okay? And you slide up off that motherfucker. And you going and you some way right there, baby. Go in there and get a hot rag. Not too hot. Warm. Okay? Warm rag. You come out there and you wipe his dick down. Don't forget the balls. Because some of you got some wet ass pussies, baby. So wipe the balls. Wipe the balls too. Okay? All right? That's what you do. And you lay there and lay right on his chest. And rub up on him, rub up on him. Baby, can I talk to you about something? He said, yeah, baby. I said, baby, that was so good. He's like, for real? And you throw him off a little bit. Because when you say, can I talk to you about something? He gonna think some shit is fucked up. So you throw him off. Oh, that was so good, baby. Mm. Now, if you're going to say something real heavy, you may have to lie a little bit. Baby, that was the best dick I've ever had. I think that was... Whew, I think you're putting a record tonight, baby. <laughs> I'm going to have to soak after this one. <sighs> I was just thinking about the other day, and I know you didn't mean to say it this way, but you know, when you said so and so, it hurt my feelings. And I know you didn't mean it that way, baby. Did you? No, baby, I swear I didn't mean it that way. I know you didn't, baby. I know you didn't, and you rubbing your fingers on his balls just a little bit. All right? Here's the thing. A hard dick creates an open mind. All right? So you keep on rubbing on him. Mm -hmm. Baby, can you promise you won't do that again to me? It just don't make me feel good, baby. And you rub, and he's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. If that dick get hard again, then suck it some more. Give him some more pussy. Okay? All right? That's what you do, baby. Boots, bags, bangles, and businesses. That's what I'm trying to get you, bitches. Boots, bags, bangles, and bitches. And businesses. Okay? All right? A nigga, he don't even have the money. A nigga, you will become his motivation. You'll become his why. A broke nigga will get a hustle in him and go make some money just so he can take care of a good bitch. Okay? When you inspire him the right way. Okay? How does a motherfucker out this bitch? Whew, Jesus. Okay. What y'all saying on here? Okay. Would I take a man back that stole something from me? Fuck no. He stole something from you? No, he wouldn't be allowed in my house again. Hell motherfucking no. Okay. I'm, but I'm trying to tell you this. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. Men want you to make them feel safe feel secure because they get insecure too they get insecure too make him feel safe make him feel secure fuck him good treat him good and make him feel unconditionally loved and he has to do those same things for you he has to do those same things for you okay but you but you need to do that for him y'all be expecting these men to do everything y'all been listening to city girls too much i like those girls we all been listening to them too much Expect him to buy you this, do you that, and all you, what, you just, you think because you got some wet ass pussy, he's supposed to do all this shit? Uh-uh, you know what I teach my nephew? You know what I told him? I said to him, I said, I don't care how good a girl's stuff is. I can't say coochie in front of him. I don't care how good a girl's stuff is. I don't care how pretty she is. I said, pretty bitches are a dime a dozen, just like good looking niggas are too. I say, don't you never spend no motherfucking penny on nobody unless she is contributing to your life in a meaningful, positive way. Okay? You don't do that. You don't do that. I said, and if anything, you need to find a girl who's mentally at your level so y'all can buy each other things. Okay? Y'all treat each other good. Okay? Tell you that right now. Okay? Let these dumb niggas out here go out here and, and, be, and be doing all that. Okay? Somebody said quarantine MJ is lit, baby. You know, I'm just being mean this filthy fucking mouth okay let me see here uh let me see here somebody said she an older best friend there hey boo hey boo yeah i'm still waiting on my food dean i think it's gonna be here in a couple minutes let's see here um um let me see here What's the adult side of my business? <laughs> Dale said this is pre um pre Labor Day MJ. Um, I do erotic storytelling. Mm-hmm. 
It's nasty as a motherfucker. Click my Instagram page. I think it's called MJ After Dark or MJ Stories. I'm not sure what the link said. But yeah, it's good. It's very good. When I do my live ones, they sell out quick. I'm very good at it. It's fun. It's funny. You know? I, I'm good at that. I enjoy it. Am I hiring or looking for a new assistant? Um, not at the moment. I have a very good one at the moment. Let's see here. Someone put this on. I'm going to put it on YouTube for you, baby. Let me see here. How to embrace your loudness in the bedroom. Oh, see, honey, I had to work on that myself. I used to not be loud in the bedroom, but every man likes, not every man, but some men like you to cheer them on, you know? And, um, yeah, I used to not be loud in the bedroom. I used to learn, I was quiet because, you know, I started fucking young in my teen years. And so when you fucking trying to hide from your parents so they don't know you fucking, you learn to be quiet, honey. You know, he could be loud, but I learned to be quiet. I used to oh, ride that dick real quiet. I used to love it, you know? But as I got older, I said, I need to be louder. And so what I learned to do was just, first of all, you got to fuck a nigga that actually makes you want to be loud, okay? Let's start there. You can't fuck no weak-ass dick talking about how you be loud. Bitch, you ain't loud because you're bored, Okay? And what I do is I just start talking. I don't know, just start saying shit. And the problem with me is I go, I just be nasty. I just be saying some nasty shit. I'm like, I got to pray after what I just said to him. All right, I just, oh, Jesus. And my thing is his dick is my barometer for how nasty I am. Because the nastiest shit I say, the harder his dick gets, and I can feel it, okay? You know what I mean, how when you can feel them getting harder inside of you? That's how I know I'm nasty. Here's what I, my advice to you, okay? Go watch some porn. Gay porn, okay? I'm telling y'all this, okay? Don't be watching these guys. Uh, oh, daddy, daddy. Fuck that shit. That don't turn men on, okay? Go watch some good gay porn and listen to how those niggas talk to each other because niggas know how to talk to niggas, okay? And so if you as a woman talk like that to your nigga, it's going to turn him on, okay? Because we nasty. We, we make Meg the Stallion and Cardi B look like motherfucking church hens. We some old nasty gutter butt bitches, okay? And men love that shit, okay? Let me tell you, this text messages I have sent to my exes, sometimes in the middle of the day, I just say, let me fuck with him. And when I was in a relationship with me, I said, let me fuck with him. You know, I go ahead and take me old nasty picture. I'm telling you girls, do this, okay? Do this for your man or for your woman, whoever. Take a old nasty picture in the middle of the day, okay? If you got to work too, then take it the day before and then just save it and send it to them, okay? A nice boomerang. Don't put your face in it, okay? In the middle of the day and write a old nasty motherfucking text, okay? Write, oh, God, a text and send it right in the middle of the day. I want to, I want to literally make him have to sit down somewhere when I send him a text in the middle of the day because I'm going to make his dick so hard that he can't walk for a minute. That's what I'm going to do. Send him a old nasty text. And when he FaceTime me in the middle of the day, right after I send that text, he FaceTime me. Hey, baby. He's like, why you send me that? Send you what, baby? Why I send you what? Hmm? You start dropping it. Why did I send you what? He's like, I'm at work. <laughs> baby, didn't pull the phone where nobody can see me. You want to see something, baby? You put it. I'm doing that right when I know he at work. I want to fuck up his world in terms of like his head, you know? So that when he come through the door, he getting off early to come get some of this cat. Okay? You want a man to fuck you good, bitch? Rev him up all day, honey. Nobody fuck you better than a man who on the verge of some blue balls. Okay? Good dick got, you got to marinate for good dick. Okay? You got to marinate on his mind, honey. Okay? Throughout the day. If we around each other all day, I'm walking by him, rubbing up against some, always just rubbing up against some, saying nasty shit. Grabbing on his dick every moment. Ain't nobody looking. Child. So that by the time we get to that bedroom, he fucking me within an inch of my life. That's what you do, girls. Okay? That's what you do. All right? Y'all can call me nasty if you want to, honey. But check my credentials, honey. Okay? I'm going to tell you this right now. And I, I have no shame in it. Okay? This good cat right here. Okay, I dated some really beautiful men, some really nice men, and I will tell you this: that the men who I've dated, I treat them good, and they treated me good, and I've and my men have helped me throughout the years. That some of them have helped me push my business further. They have. 
Some of them, even if they couldn't do that, they was great source of motivation and support. Who I am today is not just a byproduct of all my own, all my own intellect. That certainly is a big part of it. But I've also had some really amazing men along the way who've helped me. I'm telling you the truth. Okay. Oh my God. Dale says, I need to put my voice to work and do some erotic videos for the ladies, honey. Do that, honey. You got a good voice, okay? You got to be a good storyteller. But, um, yeah, I did, honey. I've inspired some men. They'd be like, I just want to do, do something for you. Do you, daddy? Okay? And I'm going to tell you another thing, girls, okay? You bitches with good pussy, who's smart, stop fucking niggas who can't do shit for you. I'm not saying be a gold digger. I'm not saying he got to take care of you or pay your bills. But he at least need to be a good support system. When you up talking about your ideas and like, can he contribute to the conversation or give you, listen, you know? That's right. Brandon kind of said, he said, butterface men usually got the biggest pipes, though. He trying to say ugly men got big dicks. But I met some pretty men with big dicks, too. But you, I, they got the big... With a pretty man, it's hit or miss if he got a good stroke. Because bitches will lie to a pretty man and make him think he got good dick. But an old mediocre looking man, a steady Eddie, bitch, he gonna fuck you within an inch of your life. Okay? Because he got to. You see what I'm saying? But what I was saying earlier is find a man who can make your life better. Stop giving pussy to men who don't make your life better. Does he make your life better emotionally? That's good. Does he make it better financially? That's good too. He got to make it better in some way, shape, or form. Okay? Y'all giving good, consistent pussy. And y'all, and I really want to smack some of you girls. When I hear y'all are cooking for these men and giving them pussy. And letting him drive your car. And he ain't doing shit for you to make your life better. I think that's just crazy. I don't understand it. And when I have my daughter, I'm going to teach her the same way. Don't you do shit. For no nigga who doesn't make your life better in some way, shape, or form. And it doesn't have to be money. I say it can be emotional too. My man sucks at foreplay. How do I change that? You need to show him what you want by pulling out a porn. Oh, here's the thing, baby. Don't crush his ego. Don't crush his ego because if you fuck up his ego, it's going to fuck up his dick. Some of y'all think your men got erectile disorders. No, you don't crush his ego because you told me you got a bad dick or something like that. So here's the thing. He does do something well. And when he's doing that, the next time he got that good stroke, because some men are fuck, fucked up at foreplay because they just good. They got good dick and they ain't never had to do good foreplay. And bitches let him get away with it. Um, next time he's fucking you good. I want you to overemphasize, moan, scream, shout. I have to tell him he had the best dick on earth. Really blow his head up. Blow him up. Right? And then what you do is next time you, um, you know, you with him and he's trying. When he's trying, uh, tell him it's good. Tell him it's amazing. He knows his foreplay is some, is some dick. You know? Uh, 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 baby, move your tongue over. Move your tongue over. Start instructing him. Start instructing him, and when he do it even halfway right, overemphasize it. It's positive reinforcement. And he's like, I'm doing this shit right? Because he ain't never been told that shit before. And he's going to want to be better at it. That's what you do. Someone asked me, am I a bottom or a top? Can y'all answer this girl, am I a bottom or a top? What does this good pussy do, y'all? What do I do? Please educate. Educate the people. Let me tell you this, baby. I'm a birthdays and holidays bottom. You know what that means? What that means is I take dick, I'm a bottom. This is pussy. Just call this pussy, okay? I got a pretty dick, but I was a bottom, okay? I got a pretty dick. You can watch it while, I'm, while you're fucking me, but I am not fucking you. Warnell says bottom down, pretty much. But on birthdays and holidays, if you want me to fuck you, I'm going to fuck you good, all right? I'm go you know what, what's the name? Um, Flame Monroe says, she said, yo, watch out for those little men like MJ. They fuck you like a nigga in Tim's. And I do. I will fuck the shit out of you. Okay? I done got so much good dick in my life. I know what to do. I will fuck the shit out of you. Because I need to hold you over so you don't ask for it again no time soon. Okay? But otherwise, I'm a bottom. Okay? A man came to me one time. He said, he said I hope you don't bother but I'm a top. I don't really want nobody. I don't want nobody putting nothing in my ass. Is that a problem? I said, baby, yeah, it's not a problem. Because if you never ask me to do it, I will never do it. But if you ask, I will. But just don't ask daily. And on that note, I'm going to go, girls. Click like and click share. And I'm going to share this on YouTube, too. All right? So we'll be live on the 